Welcome to Wingate Sports News. I'm Maddie Cherry. And I'm AJ Johnson. And today we'll be discussing some of the things that have happened in the Wingate sports world. Let's start by recapping one of the Wingate men's tennis team's biggest wins so far. The 8-6 and six Wingate men's tennis team, who are 6-2 in conference, took on 7-8 and eight Limestone in a sack showdown that took place Wednesday, April 6th. The match begins with three doubles matches followed by six singles matches. The first of the three matches was Edis Nokic teaming up with Matteo Gostoli for a 6-3 victory. Then Hugo Nosler and Florian Watcher followed them by winning 6-2 in their match. The Bulldogs were not able to win the third match, but winning the first two matches gave them a 2-3 victory in the doubles match and gave them a 1-0 overall lead heading into the singles matches. As the doubles matches came to an end, we were able to talk with freshman Peter Palkovich, who has been a big part of the team's success this season. All right, so I'm here with Peter here today. He's a member of the Wingate men's tennis team. So how you doing, man, Peter? Uh, we're doing good. We're feeling good. Uh, we're leading one zero against Limestone, and uh, I think we're, we're going to win. It looks good. After watching the doubles match today, uh, how do you feel about that? Uh, well, we won the doubles match. Unfortunately, I lost, but uh, it was a close one. Uh, I think we should be proud of it, and uh, now we're going into singles. We're positive attitude. That's good. So with the singles match is going on, what you just hear, to show your support to the team. Yeah, so I'm not playing today. Uh, I'm just watching. There's six singles going on right now, and uh, I think we're leading on every court. So, uh, it looks good. All right, that's good. Appreciate you, Peter. Yeah, of course. Thank you. All of the six singles matches were hard fought, as all but one match went to three sets. But for Wingate, Florin Walter, Luca Brown, Edis Jokic, and Gabriel Constantino won their matches, giving Wingate the 5-2 overall victory. With this victory, the Bulldogs improved to 9-6 overall and 7-2 in sack play. Wingate will be visiting Catawba April 13th at 2 p.m. for their next match. That was a great look at what the Wingate men's tennis team has accomplished this season. After their season didn't go as planned, we will get to look at what the Wingate football team has been doing this offseason to improve as a team. The Wingate football team finished their season 8-3 and, and were 6-2 and in conference play. Their season didn't go as planned as they finished tied for third in the conference with Mars Hill leading to them missing the playoffs. The team looks to use this offseason to perfect their craft and be a more well-rounded team headed into the season. We were able to catch up with Linebacker Jaquan Edwards, who made the 2021 SEC All-Conference first team for defense and was the team MVP. We asked him how he felt the spring ball went for the team. Uh, spring was good. It was a better learning experience. You know, the grass system a little better. Trying to develop a lot of young guys. So with me moving on into that veteran mentality, you know, it's more about perfecting that rep more so than the quantity of the rep. So uh, spring was real, real well. Everybody came out healthy, so that's always a blessing. All right, now, how you feel about you being a senior and how you feel like you grasped that role from Kendrick Hicks and what he used to do, and now you feel like you stepped into that role? Oh, man, so uh, the shoes of Kendrick Hicks will never be filled, man. He was a great dude on and off the field, knew that playbook, helped me along in my journey of becoming the linebacker that I am. But um, as, as a senior now, it's just about leading those young guys teaching them like the principles on and off the field. I mean, how to become a better football player, how to become a better man, and just grasping this concept of this defense because we do play in a challenging system. So uh, just helping them grasp the system and becoming and maximizing the best player they can be. One of the big focal points for this offseason was to make sure that the younger guys on the team could grasp the play calling, and if their name was called, they would know what they would do if they were in. We were able to ask head coach Joe Reich how he feels about the young guys meshing on the team. That's always exciting to us because those guys always bring energy to the table because it's, it's their opportunities, their shot. So uh, I think it's a good mix right now of veteran returners and then uh, some guys that are going to be some fresh faces. The Bulldogs have a lot of upperclassmen returning, giving them the veteran leadership needed to compete in the sack. The team expects a lot of new faces to take the next step that will lead to a better overall season. Next fall will give you a good look at what the Wingate football team will have to offer for the next few years. We are expecting a big jump for the Wingate football team this season as we seize a sack and national championship in their future. Thank you for watching Wingate Sports News. We'll see you next time.